Hi everyone, I am Daniel Cruz from USF Chemistry and in this video I'm going to show you the whole step-by-step -step process by which I record lecture videos using an app called Explain Everything on my iPad. I'm going to show you all the steps so that you can replicate them yourself. After that, I'm going to show you how to let how to build office hours on Microsoft Teams, okay? But the bulk of the video will be about how we record lecture videos using the app called Explain Everything on my iPad. So the first step is a step we all are familiar with, which is build your PowerPoint slides, okay? You can use the same slides you've been using However, you'll notice that on my PowerPoint, I have placed a blank slide in between each actual slide. And this is because it's going to make it easier to use on the iPad app later on. I also want to call your attention to a strategy I've been using in my lecture videos to try and incorporate some active learning techniques. I display a question like this and then I explain to them the step-by-step -step process by which to solve it. After that, I show them another practice question, a different one, but in the same topic, and I tell them that it is their turn, you see? And I ask them to pause the lecture video, come up with their own answer, and then come back. Um, it is a nice way for students to be engaged with the lecture video. So when you're preparing your slides, first I would recommend placing a blank slide between each actual slide. In a little bit, you'll see why. And I would recommend incorporating practice problems that students should pause the video for, find an answer, and then continue the video. Okay. So once you have your PowerPoint finalized, you're going to want to save it as a PDF because the PDF program is more friendly in the iPad app. Let's call this Steer Demo. It's the name I've given it, and I'm going to save it as a PDF. Okay, save. I already a file named that. <laughs> um, okay, great. So see, I have created the PDF. Now it has all the slides. Doom, doom, doom. Okay. The next step is that you want to go on your Box account. Let me close it so you can see everything. Um, remember, the university gives all of us a free Box account that we can use. I like to use it because video files are very large. Um, they occupy a lot of memory. And um, storing them in Box is a good option. So I'm going to pick a folder in my box and I'm going to upload that PDF I just created. Let's find the PDF. The PDF is called Steer Demo. Boom. Okay. Now look at it there, how it just appeared. Okay. Now that I have the PowerPoint saved as a PDF on box, now we can transition to the iPad. Okay, so for the iPad, you're going to want to have the Box app. You're going to want to have the Explain Everything app. Now, full disclosure, the Explain Everything app does have a monthly fee. I don't recall right now, but it's somewhere between $6 and $10. It's like $8 a month. I did try some other apps uh, that were free, but they didn't work as well. So I would recommend using this one. Check it out because it is so cool. Okay, so I'm going to tap on explain everything. And let me... Okay, so this is the main page that shows up when you open explain everything. Okay, you can play around with the app. It has a lot of features, but I'm just going to focus on the recording of lecture videos. So you're going to want to hit new project. And it gives you options to start a new project using a blank canvas, a template, or files. Um, I go to files, and I'm going to pick box, which is where I store the PDF I need. 
I pick box and let me find. Chun, 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 chun. Here it is. Ooh, <laughs> here it is. Tear demo. I tap on top of that, and then I press import up here on the right. Here it gives you several options on how to stack your PowerPoint slides. Grid, horizontal, vertical. I recommend vertical. You press insert and the app builds for you your slides in a vertical manner. Look at how I am scrolling and the slides are there. Now you probably see why I was recommending that you put a blank slide in between each actual slide so that it doesn't look crowded when we come here to the app and so that you have empty space in which you can write out answers to problems, okay? So let me scroll back up. Here we go, okay. So to record your lecture video, Oh, and it's useful if you have a stylus pen, just saying. So to record your lecture video, you tap down here. It started recording. See, look at the time. It's recording whatever is on the screen and my voice. So up here, if you choose the hand tool, that's when you can scroll up and down, left and right. But if you use the pencil tool, then you can even pick whatever color you want to use to write with. And that's where you can then come here and start doing problems. You see, in real time, I can say, okay, if the pressure is 2.0 atmospheres and the volume is 3.0 liters and, you know, N is this, R is this, T is that. You see, I can just do a problem there in real time. And once I'm done doing it, I can continue scrolling and move on to the next slide. Here's what I was telling you. When I am recording the videos, I have these slides. I show them how to solve a problem. Then they have a slide with the answer. But then I have this new problem. And this is where I tell students, okay, pause the video, come up with your answer, and then come back to try and make it more active learning oriented and to keep them engaged. So when you're done recording, you press this button again. Boop. Notice that this video I just recorded in this demo is a minute and 19 seconds. Okay, so once you're done, you need to export the video because you need to upload it to Canvas. So what you do is you go up here, you go to export, you wanna export it as a video and you need to choose where you want to store that video. Guess where I'm going to store it? In box, of course. So notice how it's processing the video. And um, remember, this video was a little over a minute. And notice the amount of time it's taking to process. You can imagine that a 70 minute lecture video would take much, much longer to process. So this is something that you wanna definitely do early. You don't wanna do it too late because the whole exporting, uploading process takes long and you don't wanna be pressed for time. I'm trying to come up with more things to say while this thing finishes. <laughs> okay, it's done, great. Um, so I'm gonna pick the folder in box where I wanna store it. It's gonna be this one. Bloop. You press choose this folder. You can change the title of the video. Let's change the title of the video. What are we gonna name it? Let's just name it Steer Demo. Okay, cool. Now I press upload and it is uploading it to box. Uploaded successfully, yay. Okay, so now that it's in box, your lecture video, we come back to the laptop. I am still on that same folder on box. I'm gonna refresh. And boom, that video I just recorded is right there, the steer demo, you see? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download that video. You see, you go here to the three dots, you download, 
it's downloading, it's done. If it were a large video, this would have take, taken longer. Show in folder, it's right here, steer demo. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it and paste it in a folder I can recognize instead of just the downloads folder, you know? So I'm gonna put it in this folder right here of my summer course. Beautiful. Okay, so now that you have downloaded the video from Box on your laptop, you can upload it to Canvas. And you can upload videos to Canvas in two ways. I'm gonna use a demo version, a, a demo Canvas course I created to try out these things, to show you how to do it. So, you can just go to the Files tab, go up here, hit Upload, and just upload the video. Steer Demo. Here's the video. You are uploading it, and there it is. However, when you're uploading videos to Canvas, there is a second choice, which is a good choice because it is um, very helpful. You see, if you go to My Kaltura, which is a tab that all Canvas courses should have, then you can upload the video and the Kaltura program will automatically produce closed captioning for the video. Okay? Um, so this is helpful for students for whom English English is in their first language, like me, <laughs> or um, you know, students who might have some sort of special need in which the closed captioning would be helpful. So here's how you do that. I just went to my Kaltura. You're gonna press Add New Media Upload. Choose a file to upload. You're gonna upload it from your laptop, here it is, to your demo. It's uploading, uploading, up, yay, it's done. Okay, then you're gonna scroll down, you're gonna save it, and then you need to publish it to the course that you're gonna use it at. So you go to publish, and your list of courses is gonna show up. I'm gonna publish it to my demo course. You scroll down, you hit save. Okay, now it's there. So you see, once it's there, for students to access it, you see, because the Kaltura, that's for you as a teacher. So if you want students to be able to see the video, you need to create a page. So you go to the Pages tab, and you go up here to where it says plus page. That's me. That means you're creating a page. Let's call this page Steer Demo. And here's what you do. You see this little blue V, more external tools? You're going to tell it Embed Kaltura Media. And once you do that... And wait, <laughs> let's see. I'm gonna close it and try again because it never takes this long. So let's see. Blue V, Embed Cultura Media. There we go. There I have all the videos I have in my Kaltura, so I'm gonna pick the steer demo and I'm gonna embed that video to the page. There is the video, okay? So you click save and publish. And now, if a student goes to the pages tab, they can just click on that page and there they have the video. Now, when you upload videos to My Kaltura, it's going to take a couple minutes for the closed captioning to appear. 
Okay, so the closed captioning for this one isn't ready yet. You have to give it a little time, and when you revisit the page, a CC button will appear down here to, for turning on the closed captioning. I want to show you in an older video so that you see the closed captioning because it's cool. Let's see. This is an old lecture video I have. See, look at the CC button down here. So let me press play. Good day, everybody. This is I'm me talking. This I'm is gonna turn on the closed captioning. 25th. And the last lecture of the course. We made See? it. See, and look at the closed captioning. So, today we finished chapter nine which is the chapter about gases. See, it's not perfect, but it works. Remember, so that's really cool, example. you know? And remember, we have, we have to keep in mind accessibility for students. You know, it's a really good thing for students to be able to see the closed captioning. And the Cultura program also prepares a transcript. That's why it also takes a couple minutes to show up and students can navigate the transcript as well. It's really useful. You see, and at that point, the students have the videos, they have closed captioning, they can study and things are great. Um, all right. The other thing I wanted to show you was the thing about office hours using Teams. So this is Microsoft Teams. I downloaded on my laptop. So you can just go here on the left to the calendar tab and you can just press up here, meet now. Up here, you can edit the name of the meeting. I'm going to call it Steer Demo to be consistent. And I press join now. And boom, I am at a Microsoft Teams meeting. So how do I invite my students to the Microsoft Teams meeting so that they can join me in office hours? Here's what I do. I go to my announcements on the Canvas course page and I post a new announcement. And I go, I'm not going to do it, you know, but I go like, um, here is the link for today's office hours. Follow the link. I'll be here until 11. Boom. Okay. So when I go to Teams, if I go down here, you see this little button that says show participants. And then I go up here and I press here where it says copy join info. It says copy to clipboard. So I come back to Canvas and I just paste. And now the info for joining the Office Hours Microsoft Teams meeting is there. So I just hit save. At that point, any student can just click on this link and join me in the Microsoft Teams meeting. They don't have to be experts at Teams. They can just click here and it'll take them to where I am in the Teams meeting and we can do office hours. Every morning, you know, the, the summer class I was teaching met every day. So every morning I would create a brand new meeting at my uh, Teams and provide students with the link to join me on that day's office hour. The last thing I wanted to show you before letting you go was regarding office hours. Let's say you're here during office hours in your laptop and a student has a question and you want to show them a step-by-step -step approach on how to do it. Well, you can come here and try and write things out and then show it to the student, to the camera. That's annoying. Ain't nobody got time for that. So here's what I came up with. We go back to the iPad. You can download the Teams app on your iPad. And look, when I join it, I, I remember I'm on Teams on my laptop. So when I open it on my iPad, the it knows, it says, in progress, meeting, wanna join on this device? I'm gonna say join. Yes, I wanna join on this device. Now I am in both. So I'm gonna hang up on the laptop and just stay here. Okay, now that I am on my iPad, I can share my screen. Click the three buttons. Ooh, 
click okay click the three buttons press share press share screen press start broadcast it'll count down three two one and at that point everyone in the team's meeting is able to see my ipad screen so then i can go back to explain everything our handy dandy app i can go to new project i can just say blank canvas and then here i can help students you know a student tells me oh i don't know how to do exercise 18 of the homework well here i am showing them i have a whiteboard and i can say okay we have 7.3 moles of carbon how many atoms well in one mole of carbon I, we have 6.022 blah 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 you see and i can show them in real time um how to solve the problem and help them more easily okay so those are just some pointers I wanted to give you. Again, I showed you how to record lecture videos on the app Explain Everything and how to upload those videos to Canvas, including uploading them to your Kaltura so that the videos end up with closed captioning. I also showed you how to create a Microsoft Teams meeting for office hours and how to upload the link to an announcement on Canvas easily. And I showed you how I also use the app Explain Everything during office hours to show students how to solve problems in real time. Microsoft Teams does have a whiteboard option, but it's finicky and not that good. So that's all I have for you today. Have a fantastic day. Bye.